So I wanted to show you how my machine works. It's not the same machine, but maybe if you see the parts that are moving, it might help you figure out what's stuck on yours. Um, so mine is the same. It has to be on the red dot when I'm doing it. So when I rotate it and what I had to unlock, obviously you have your zigzag stitch working, but this is important to make sure that the zigzag is working all the way. So you should have one of those. That's your, that's what controls the, your, your needle bar. Um, okay, so this little guy, this is what's traveling around this cam right here. You see? We're basically switching it. So this little guy has to be mobile. So if he's not moving, then you're not, you're basically stuck. So basically when I push him and then I rotate, I get literally almost, I get no resistance. You see? There's nothing really switching. So he has to be movable. And then the other thing, this goes up and down. And this is attached to this trezzo. You see that it's different shapes. Yeah, right there. So that's what causes it to go up and down and select the actual cam. So if you push this, on the, if you find the tail of it, push that little tail and see if your cam selector is locked and frozen. So he should be able to move up and down. Okay. Um, what else? And then, of course, there's the gear that is going to rotate your lovely cams. Um, actually, no, that's the gear. Well, that's the gear that's underneath. So the only other option that I could think of, if it's not like locked somehow, oh, and this is your reverse. This should also move. So just make sure that that is moving correctly. So those are the three things that really cause it to move. This arm this arm and this reverse. Um, the only other thing that I was thinking of was that something, this, this actual part right here was fused. So maybe if you pour, and you can see there's a lot of oil in here, I had to pour oil. I'm not kidding, like I poured because this machine was not moving at all. Um, so the only part that I could think of that could be maybe fused other than that is this actual part or the underside of it. So maybe try to get in there with, you know, a long dripper. I have, um, where are mine? I don't think I have it on me, but I have one that has a really long, um, long spout so I can really get, I don't have it with me. Um, but I can get into these places, but and everybody says don't use WD-40. I use WD-40 to unlock machines when it comes to things like this. And then what you want to do is you kind of want to wash it down with sewing machine oil. Um, so I hope that maybe will help you get it rotating. Good luck.